Welcome to our lecture online. Our second example dealing with percentages reads as follows. Annette earns $300 per week and makes, I guess I need an S there, and makes 12% commission on her sales. How much does she have to sell to make an additional $300 per week in commission? So again, we start the problem or solving the problem by saying let x equal something. So what are we going to let x equal? Well, in this case, we should let x equal the amount of sales in commission because we need to take 12% of that and equate that to how much money she's going to earn from her commission. So let x equal the amount of sales and then you can express how much she makes in commission in terms of x. So here we can say that the commission earnings equals the number of sales, the amount of sales, multiplied times the percent in commission. All right, so now we know that the amount of commission earnings need to be $300 per week. So that's 300, and I don't want to put the dollar sign in there. That just makes things a little bit more messy. We'll just write down 300. So the amount of earned from commission is 300. That equals the amount of sales, which is defined as x. And we're going to multiply that times the percent in commission, which in this case is 12%. So 12% times the sales should give you earnings in commission. Of course, you want to get rid of the 12%. So first we write it as a decimal. So write 300 is equal to 0.12x because 0.12 is the same as 12%. Now we want to get rid of the decimal, so we multiply both sides by 100. So we have 3 with now 4 zeros, that means 30,000 is equal to 12x. And so finally, we want to divide both sides by the numerical coefficient. And let's see, 30,000 divided by 12. Hmm, that would be 2,500, I believe. So it would be x equals 2,500 because times 10 is 25,000, times 2 is 5,000. Sure enough, so x equals 2,500. And now, since x was defined as the amount of sales, then that means that the amount of the sales required to make $300 in commission must equal $2,500. And that is how it's done.